Baron Zemo is here, guys, and on paper looks very, very strong. But should you use your resources on this character? In this video, we're answering the most important question. Is he worth it? Plus, even better, guys, one of you will have an opportunity to win your own Baron Zemo in a giveaway sponsored by Worldwide Nutrition. So stick around for that. But before we get to all this Baron Zemo stuff, I am very backed up on all of my mail. So let's go in game and open all of this stuff. Oh my goodness, 11 unopened messages, guys. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Villains United, it was unlocked. That is awesome stuff here. Uh, Blitz was unlocked. Some Blitz energy, guys. Let's claim this stuff. Blitz mode, that is awesome. I can't wait to try out that new game mode. Oh, and there's a big issue right here. More Wolverine shards, guys. Awesome, awesome stuff. But in all seriousness, guys, welcome to the Valley Flying channel. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're ready to talk about some Baron Zemo. We're going to talk all about him in this video, guys. But first, before we get to the analysis of it, let's open some red star orbs. Let's open some Zemo orbs. Now, this was a replay from earlier on stream. So let's go to the footage and see how well I do with this orb opening. All right. And here we are in the orb chamber, guys. We're opening some red star orbs for Zemo, the big, bad new Hydra character. And here we go. First orb. And it is for Zemo, but obviously with a suspicion of possibly getting a guaranteed three red star Zemo in Blitz. Just by scoring high, we need a bigger, bigger Zemo. So let's keep going with this one. We could probably stop at a four, but let, let's keep going. This is a very good character, guys. I want some good red stars on him. And it looks like we already have two four star elites that we can open. Boom. Oh, it is something. It is nothing. Nothing, just some duplicates. All right, we are. We got 28 more to go. It looks like we are in a very bad seed, guys. Let's skip that one. Iron Fist, we don't need him. Oh, we, we, we're getting so much green, guys. Minerva. Some good characters, very low levels, though. And, oh, more Cree. It's like we're in a Cree seed here, guys. Another one. Are we going to get a good Zemo? No. Ooh, this is a very ugly, ugly seed, Valley. Oh, uh, boom. All right, maybe we're going to have to stop this. We're going to have to. Let's do uh, one more. Oh, nice. There's the four star we want. No need to test out the C theory. Red one is about to let, end it. There we go. But you know what? Just for fun. Let's let's go open those fours. Just for fun, guys. I, I'm pretty happy with that. No tinfoil hat. All right, let's do this. We got two of these. And, oh, uh, what is this one? Groot. So sad. All right. One more. One more. And, ah, uh, what is this one? Ugh. Ugliness. Ugliness. All right. That is it for the orbs, guys. But not it for all of the orbs because we have some Zemo orbs to open. We are in the orb chamber for Zemo. We have eight of these to open. We already have some of them. And boom. I think it came with 55, the initial $50 offer. There's a 10. Starting up slightly above the odds. We need to keep going. Seven more of these to open. Hopefully, we get a 180. The all is loose of 180 that we have never gotten on this account. Boom, 12. All right. So that is, we are, we're doing slightly better than the odds on both of these pulls, guys. Six more to go. Hopefully, we get a gold. Oh, it is back down to the green. All right. We, our odds are all over the place, guys. And boom. Ah. No, it is green again. Lowest possible. We have four more to go. Boom. Oh, another green. Another green. So sad. We got three more. Let's see if we uh, time this crane right, if that makes a difference. Nope, it does not. Another green of Zemo. Are we going to get some better luck? We, we have not gotten the purple. Not on this one. We have never, ever gotten the gold. On this channel, guys. Is this the one? Two more left. And no, it is another green. We have one more, though. Let's open this one fast. Oh, it is. All right. So all in all. Total. 119 Zemo shards for 50 bucks plus some of this stuff. Is it worth it? We're going to keep going. We're going to test this character out. All right. So as you can see this morning on stream, not the worst, not the best luck. 
decent. We got the three gold stars. We got the four red stars. Looking forward to when his blitz comes with. Let's talk about his T force now that he is built up. We're going to take him into battle in just a little bit. Which T force, if any, should you be investing in? And as you can see, when I was building him up on stream, went for his passive right here. That was the first one I did. So we're going to talk about that at the end. But let's go in order, guys. Basic damage 50% to the primary target that is so bad for a t4 especially on a character to this level uh i would not do this one even if you draw some really really good red stars unless you're just crazy obsessive with uh, completing every single uh, t4 on a character i would avoid this one this one is not worth it at all that basic all right this is a strong one two turn cooldown oh my goodness this is every other turn what is this doing? You're clearing, uh, you're clearing death proofs. You're attacking the primary targets for some huge damage. The T4 adds 80% damage to a non-minion. But if that primary target is a minion, it goes from 740 all the way up to 900% damage. This is a big damaging move. This is an instant kill, especially if you're using this Hydra 2.0 team to counter Hydra 1.0 in war defense. Uh, also adding a little piercing extra. This is a good one, especially with this low turn cooldown. I think this is a big, big, very important T4. Let's move on to his ultimate. A very good move as well. Another big move. This is where you get charged. So very, very important. It has a higher cooldown, but you're getting a lot of speed from Zemo. So it's going to happen a lot. 50% uh, damage to the primary, secondary targets with the T4. And instead of rebounding, chaining to three adjacent targets, you're going that for four adjacent targets. So this is another good one. I would say the passive and the special are the two most important. This one is also very important, but this is like 1-1-A, one, one and this would be 1-B, I think. Let's talk about this passive, because as you can see, I've already done this. I did this this morning on stream. What is it going to do? 100% damage to all targets. This is very important when he has charged. Big AoE attack coming. Clearing three positive effects from all enemies, so not only is it a AoE attack, you're also clearing positive effects, and this is when he has charged, so... Every time you're using an ultimate, getting another charge, and on turn, the next turn, he's getting another big AoE attack, or a, and a big AoE attack. The, the, the ultimate is some rebound chaining. But getting more cell, or speed for self and non-minion Hydra allies, up to 40% extra speed. Crossbones, Winter Soldier gets very, very strong with Zemo on the field, guys. Uh, let's, let's take a look at them in battle. Now, I did do a couple battles. With this team very weird synergy because my grenadier is very low walked over whatever team we fought at 8.0 went up to 8.3 fought the defenders had a very very strong punisher on that team did not win but the footage we're going to show you and uh, right now is from the rematch with a different defenders team this one had a very very weak iron fist the first battle had a very weak daredevil to match that grenadier so let's go into battle see how these guys do at 8.3 Blitz against the defenders. All right, so Hydra 2.0. We went in with a defender team with a very weak Punisher or a weak Daredevil. Did not do very well at 8.0 dominant. So let's see if this team right here with this weak Grenadier matches up well with his weak Iron Fist. With a strong Punisher, did not do very well. So let's see. It's, we have a strong Punisher again, but a lot of power in Luke Cage. Might not be able to get through his uh, defense up if he taunts. We're going to try this again. Let's see what happens with this team. We don't have any options with minions, though. Obviously, we'd, we would like a Greg kind of a possibility, but I, I think they're still too strong, especially with a weak uh, Heimdall to match up with that Grenadier. I don't think we're going to beat this team. This team, no minions, obviously. And this team, I want to rematch them. All right, here we go. Boom. Let's let's do this again. Let's ability block. Actually, let's ability block Punisher right here. Boom. So he can't do that on turn one. That would get a little time to work on him. And we're going to go after him with everything here, guys. Boom. And boom. And three guys in the reds from Crossbones. That is very promising. But that Luke Cage. Oh, there goes Grenadier right away. Right off the bat. He is not going to. All right. This looks good. This looks good. Let's see if we could be punished. This, uh, this, yeah. Punisher. Dead. No, not dead. There we go. Oh, he is. That is good. All right. Special uh, ultimate from Kingpin, giving the offense ups, defense ups. There goes Iron Fist and Daredevil looks to be done very, very soon. There he goes. And now it is time for Jessica Jones. Let's keep working on her. Taunt up to hopefully keep Zemo and crew alive a little bit longer. 
get some more minions on the field just to take some pressure off hopefully taking some pressure off of kingpin that defense up on that beefy luke cage is giving us some problems though hopefully eventually we have enough power to get through him our key here i think our big damage dealer right here is going to be winter soldier probably should have saved that oh we're, oh i wanted to use that special for zemo dies a little too quickly guys not sure if they can handle this big of a punch up especially on a team with zero minions on them their true test though is gonna be in war all right let's let's see if we go back to jessica jones here at least take her out so we're dealing with one enemy instead of two now we don't have two uh counter attacks on them because that daredevil got taken out earlier if we can take out oh but there goes jessica jones i think we gotta attack her hopefully she dies there we go now we got that taunt on that minion and hopefully we get enough minions here that we could use uh use up some of the attacks from luke cage now he gets a little bit of healing right here he gets 30 percent max health. oh he zemo i'm not sure if he gets a 30 percent or 20 percent zemo was an ally sometimes passive stick sometimes they don't let's get the taunt on here and hopefully he's taking some damage away from crossbones almost done zemo made a little bit of difference especially with that ability block on punisher and the opening move in this battle guys all right, we, instead of the defense ups, I think more minions here taking some potential hits from Luke Cage is going to make the difference in this battle. Taunt. Not for the taunt, but for the healing. And boom. All right, got him into the red. That is good. Offense up, defense up. Hopefully, he does not go after Crossbones. We can still lose this battle if Crossbones gets attacked. There we go. And that is it, guys. All right, and there they are in battle, guys. Looking pretty good in Blitz. With a good Defenders team, that is kind of the baseline for all teams to see if they can beat the Defenders in 8.3 in Blitz. This team, even non-synergized with a very weak Grenadier. These guys, the questionable fifth. Kingpin looks to be very good, but there may be some better fifths out there. Even with that, still able to beat the Defenders at 8.3. Not auto yet, but I think they can beat them on full auto when you're able to clear this. How much value did Zemo add to that match, though? I think what he brought to that match gave them enough of a lead that they were able to come back with what was left. So, I think he's a very good character. But now it is time to answer the all-important question, guys. Is he worth it? And that is going to be determined on how big you emphasize war he obviously is a war character he is made to be on war and it looks like to be a hard counter that hydra 1.0 team so if you're looking for some more teams to beat hydra to beat some of these other meta teams i think he is going to help your current your other your extra hydra characters and turn them into a great war offense team also seeing reports that this hydra 2.0 team is able to counter the mercs and the Colson Fury Shield team. So three meta teams this team is able to counter. So looking pretty good just for that. But it is a war team, a primary war team. So for that team, you're going to want to be emphasizing war and blitz. But then is the question is, how much value does he provide outside of this Hydra 2.0 team? Is he going to be an asset in Ultimate 7, Dark Dimension 3, maybe in Arena? Well, I don't see him falling into the meta in Arena. I think there's too many powerful characters uh, that uh, that will overshadow him. Maybe if you're in an earlier shard without the Black Order, he still will have some value. But later shards, I don't think he's going to provide too much value for Arena. Raids, though, he may provide a lot of value, depending on the note. If you're facing a lot of minions, that special that he's doing is going to get a lot of damage low turn cooldown and uh fast speed speed and damage is what you think of with this character he has a lot of speed of damage very squishy that's that's kind of his downside and uh but i do think he does have some value in the raids if you're struggling for dark dimension 3 don't have any characters that you can bring up to tier 14 this is a character that uh, might be valuable, uh, that might provide you some value. But well, that is it, guys. Those are my thoughts on this character. I think he's an awesome character. If you are someone that prioritizes war in your lines, this is a character that I think you're going to need to invest in. Whether you wait for his blitz to really build up this character or buy him now, I think this is a character that you're going to need to have if you are in an alliance that takes war seriously. Blitz, he makes that team a good blitz team, turns uh, some trash characters, Crossbones, Winter Soldier, Grenadier, turns them into a team that could win on auto at 8.3 once that team is properly built. Plus, he has some value, certain nodes in Dark Dimension 3, certain nodes in Ultima 7. I think he will provide some value to his team, so I think he's a very, very good character. 
And I think he is worth your resources, whether you wait to his blitz and use all of your in-game resources or spend some real world money. I think this is a character that I think you're going to want to have on your roster. So that is it, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Zemo. But now it is time for you to potentially win your own Zemo. Sponsored by Worldwide Nutrition. Make sure you use the code VALLEYFLYING25 to get 25% off your entire order at Worldwide Nutrition. But Zemo being given away by the folks over there and all you need to do to enter to win use the link in the description subscribe to the new email list and if you've entered contests in the past you need to subscribe again to this email list and uh you will be notified via email so make sure you enter a good email there uh i think they're picking the winner this weekend and i will announce whoever won on uh monday in monday's mailbag video so good luck guys and yes worldwide nutrition thank you for sponsoring this zemo offer and I will see you guys next time. All that good stuff, guys. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, smash that notification bell. Check me out every morning, every weekday morning on Twitch, ValleyFlying76. Check me out on social media. Give me a Hulk fist bump before you go. Valley Flying, out.